it's day five and we have lights downstairs and upstairs basically everything is sort of done cosmetically it still looks like crap but we've got lights i'm going to show you a few bits um but we're pretty good so we've got uh, this center pendant here and then oh no that turns that one off <laughs> i could have to remember this and then we've got lights upstairs as well from this uh I don't know what kind of thing it is, but oh, I want to show you this. Let's turn this light on as well. This is the old sort of trunking. And look at these wires. They're like brittle. You can like break them because they're just so crap. So they've got this kind of fabric covering on them. And then who knows what's inside there. Let's not say the A word. Uh, so this needs to come out carefully. So I'll do that because it, basically all the plaster behind it is sort of coming off. So a bit difficult, but so I've got a light in here. All of the sockets and things haven't changed, but they are now live. I'm not going to use the B word, I don't think today. So <laughs> we've got lights there, we've got lights upstairs. I tell you what, we'll go upstairs first and then we'll go and have a look at the, there's a fuse board. Um, so lights up here, it's, this is, feels like a different house with all of these sort of bright spotlights. Like it just looks so much better. Look, this is light now. Uh, so the bathroom, everything's so dusty. So the bathroom, much better with a lot of light. Uh, you can see, like, I'm just gonna have to go, it's, it's everywhere. There's no, no getting away from it. So I'm gonna have to sort this out. So I've taken a day off work on Monday to clean because I want to enjoy my weekend. I don't, some of these, I don't know what this does. So this, this one does the bathroom and this one <laughs> should be doing the lights in here. I'm going to have to talk to him about it because actually this one over here, don't know what that does either. But tomorrow is going to be day six, obviously. Um, and what they're going to be doing there is doing like an EICR type deal. That's some kind of electrical rules, electrical inspection, regulate. I don't know what it stands for. Anyway, nerd room. Look, <laughs> got big blooming lights in here. They haven't put the dimmer in. So they're going to come back and sort the dimmer. Um, so it's just on a normal switch for now. But really pleased, obviously, the ceilings are going to get boarded anyway, so those lights can drop down. But all of this stuff is now live, ready to use. So if I wanted to, could move in here. But out of all of the rooms in the house, this one is one of the ones that's probably going to have to go back to brickwork, I think. It's sort of just... I mean, look. Also, look at this old wallpaper underneath several layers of wallpaper. Uh, so yeah, I'm really pleased, <laughs> like ridiculously pleased. So I've got, I'm just gonna go around turning all the lights on for you. So I've got light in here now, my bedroom, bit of a mess still, plug sockets are live, ready to go. Um, I think they forgot to take that light out from in front of the window, but whatever, I can manage that. Uh, and then we've got in here, let me close that window. In fact, I can turn on a light to get over there. I've opened the window because it's kind of dusty, but it's also noisy outside. So two light switches in here. We've got this one controls this pendant light. And that's because, and now I can show you this in the light. Just over here, we've got two black marks on the wall, just there, 100, meter, 100 millimeters of across so sort of a standard stud wall depth and that will come across here and end up somewhere over there not even that far away from here I think so that will leave a bit of a, a space for my office and then I have to create a new doorway to go in here and that's why that one's got a separate light and now all of the plug sockets are live and the ethernet's connected I'm not using it just yet because um, I can't really move all this stuff over here 
until I've done a lot of cleaning, which is sort of the next step. Um, one thing before we go downstairs is the, the little light switch, isn't that? Unceremoniously dumped in here. So we've got a load of them. Look at how cool they are. So this one actually sort of demonstrates how, what their construction is like. So you've got this kind of porcelain thing on the bottom and then on the, on the top, it's either like a Bakelite like this one or it's brass um, like the other one on here. You can see where the paint's flaked away. Uh, let's see if we can find another example. Yeah, there you go. Uh, brass with a dimple thing pattern on it. Um, so they are really cool. How many are there? Uh, 10? No, sorry, there will be 10. I'm counting two downstairs that have yet to be taken off. So they'll be used for a, a project, I think. I might create something for my wall that's got these 10 switches on. Just to like, like a <laughs> Victorian fidget spinner, basically. Well, let's go downstairs and have a look at some other, oh, there's a couple of bits actually. One thing is bad actually. Can't really do anything about it. Kitchen light. There is no kitchen light now. That circuit had to be taken out because it didn't run through the separate fuse board. It was part of the lighting circuit for the rest of the house and I didn't ask for that to be changed. We didn't know that would be the case. So I'm just gonna have some lamps in the kitchen until I get it done. One thing I did wanna show you, Oh, there's a few bits actually. So hello again, um, outside lights. I now have outside lights. And how do you switch them on? <laughs> well, <laughs> I've got a little wireless kinetic switch. No battery required. So I can put this anywhere or not put it anywhere. So there's the spots. Literally can't see them because they're too bright. And then there's a, another one there which is sort of just pointed in that direction. Oh, and here is my outside socket. I'm just gonna pop that switch in my back pocket. Oh, I've switched it off by sitting down. Uh, it's made by Click. It's very difficult to see, but... Oh. There we go, we've got a couple of, well, a double socket out here, and it's got these sort of flanges, so you can put a plug in and close it and a little bit here so you can lock it. Uh, if you've got like a little padlock or you don't want, I don't know how to close this back up. Let's see, there we go. So I can leave things plugged in, which is great. I'll just pop that down there on the Christmas tree that I never put up this year. Now we're gonna go down into the cellar, but to do that, I'm gonna have to grab a light. So the cellar lights, we're gonna be on one of those kinetic things as well. Uh, but the electrician's lost the receiver, so he's going to pop back and do that when he's got a new one. Oh, so this no longer works because it's not connected. So there's another one, actually, so it's 11 switches. I forgot. God, I hate this place so much. <laughs> okay, let's just get down. Let's get down and there we go. There's our new fuse board. However, it has a surprise. Better not be a spider, it's not a spider. We have a one light in here to illuminate this, which makes the cellar a lot less creepy. And one down here to illuminate all of the, uh, all of the spiders, which is awful. Anyhow, look at this. What is that? It's like a film on top. Ugh, gosh. Um, anyway, lots less creepy down here. Look at that. So here's a fuse board. Oh, hello. Quinetic. I've been calling it kinetic. Oh, it is a kinetic switch. Quinetic must be the brand name. Dimmable. Okay, is this the missing one? Oh, that must be the one he's used. Anyway, that's the fuse board. Um, so, ah, here we are. So tomorrow, they're gonna be 
labeling it up. Can you see that? It won't focus, it's terrible. Anyway, I'm gonna label it up, which is really important to me because I wanna know, I need to know what's, uh, what each one of these things does. It's important. So if anything blows, you know where to look. Um, there's something switched off here. I'm gonna have to ask him um, what those are. I know that these ones over here, these three that are off, those are for the future kitchen supplies. Um, this one, I don't know. I'll, um, I'll find out. Um, it could be, maybe it could be for those sockets. I'm not sure. Oh wait, I haven't told you about those sockets yet. Let me pop his stuff back, because otherwise he'll know I've been dicking around. Uh, let's throw that in there. There we go. Right. Then we got this. This is my Ethernet distribution board, like a patch thingy. And a little socket next to it, so that I can power my router and a switch. So basically, I can bring my router down here uh, and stick it on a little shelf. I'll make a little shelf and then um, throw the internet into the switch and then all of these cables will come out. So I need a way of bringing the DSL cable, is it DSL? Under the floor here. Luckily, they've busted up the carpet, so I should be able to just bring it across if I get myself an extension for the for the router, and then I could just bring it across the ceiling, I guess. This ceiling's got like pipes and shit all over it, so like very flexible, that's a bit concerning. Let's just push that back in. Um, yeah, so I'll just bring it across and just do that temporarily. I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna be renovating this cellar for, I mean, I don't know if I ever will. I just can't afford it, it's very expensive to turn them into fully livable rooms. So you have to tank it, which I think costs like 10 grand, and it isn't very good for your walls anyway because you're trapping the moisture in the wall rather than letting it breathe. So they just weren't built for to be livable spaces. They're built for storage, I think. Anyway, uh, what's that's it. There's nothing else. <laughs> that is it. Um, oh God, I've got to turn this back off because it will eventually be one of those kinetic switches, but for now, spooky and dark times. Anyway, um, oh, it's really cold today. I will see you day six when they're coming back. Why are we doing a spooky thing? When they're coming back, um, just to finish off that board, fix a few little bits, and they're gonna give me a walk around and tell me exactly where all the cables are, um, what all the switches do, and explain the board to me. I'm excited. We're basically at the end, and now I need to think about nothing for a little while. I think I'll just take maybe a month off and not do anything in the house so I can relax. And then I need to think about how I can make the house look nicer, sort the walls out, do some decorating, and get some quotes for a kitchen. Literally can't afford it. <laughs>